What is up guys, welcome to a brand new video. So Zoe has officially been revealed by Riot now, they have put all her abilities up and it's not exactly what we expected before. I wasn't going to do a video about this, but then I found this tweet on Twitter from Mark, yes he's one of the game designers, you can actually see lead game designer at Riot Games, Riot Scruffy on the left. Now this saying it's been a while since we made a low cooldown ultimate like Zoe's, the great fitting of unlocking the base kit when you hit level 6. Somebody asked about the cooldown and it's 10, 8 and 6 seconds by rank before cooldown reduction remember and we're assuming that cooldown reduction is actually going to apply to this so you're going to have like a four second ultimate which her ultimate is the portal ability that we saw from the spotlight where you can do this you can jump between the two you can use spells between them and you can do this every four seconds now this is something that is not in the reveal and i don't think many people have spotted this before so i wanted to make a video because honestly like it's it's going to massively change what you think of zoe all of a sudden i thought her kit was kind of meh now that she can do that every four seconds, I think she's actually really cool. And she's kind of like a combo mage now with her ultimate. Using it all the time, you unlock a different way of playing her. She's basically like a new LeBlanc. That is how you want to think of her. So, running through our abilities, I know that's what a lot of you are going to want to see. Her passive is more sparkles. Sparkles is very similar to Lux, except you don't proc this with spells. You proc it with auto attacks. So every different ability you use gives you one of these. And then your next auto attack does bonus damage. So you're going to be comboing a lot with this. Her Q is going to be the thing that flies at somebody like this. It's just a really basic skill shot like that. But you can actually fly it behind you or away or whatever, then recast it to fling it. And it does more damage based on the distance traveled. So you can see now if she fires it all the way from here over to Tarek, it's going to half health him. That's absolutely ridiculous. One of the cool things, though, is imagining using your portal backwards, using your Q, and then using your portal back, obviously, and flying it at somebody. That's going to be an even increased range. And that will do a ton of damage. I bet you could one-shot somebody with that. I'm going to practice that and see if we can. Now, W Spell Thief is what I thought her passive was going to be. This is where every time somebody uses an active item or a summoner spell around Zoe, she's going to, they're going to drop a bubble. You can pick that bu bu blubber. You can pick that bubble up and you can uh, use that spell then afterwards or that item active. And if you do that, you're then going to have one of your passive as well which is uh, bonus damage from your next auto attack. One of the cool things here, this part, some minions also drop a spell shard when killed by Zoe. So imagine in the lane phase, a minion suddenly trolls you and decides to drop a flash and she flashes on you twice. That's going to be a really tilting thing. Her E is what I thought was her ultimate, but it actually just turns out it's a normal crowd control spell that we have now. You fly it out there. Uh, it's a really big circle on the ground. If somebody walks into it, they're going to get drowsy, which is this thing now, and a timer. They can flash away or something to try and get to safety. Then they're going to fall asleep. And a big thing here as well is whenever uh, an ability... Well, first thing, actually, you take extra damage from the next attack or spell when they fall asleep. You also, whenever an enemy falls asleep, the ability cooldown is reduced. So you can be using this a lot in team fights. Also, if it doesn't hit anything, it lingers on the ground as a trap. And if cast over a wall, it gains casting range. So you could fling this over a couple of walls and do a really long range gank or roam or something like that. Finally, then we have our ultimate, which is going to be this really short cooldown portal. This is going to be really tilting to play against. Imagine she can jump every eight seconds. You gank her, she jumps away. You run away then, you sit in the bush, you gank her again, she jumps away again. That is absolutely ridiculous. How do you even focus this champion? So this is where like the whole champion kit gets unlocked. Those are abilities, but watch this, because this is a really big thing here. This is something that I really like watching, because it shows you how you're going to combo, and how everything can be ridiculously strong on Zoe. So just uh, very quickly, we'll go back and watch this again, because the first thing you're going to notice is, next to a health bar is the flash icon. This is probably, we can't see it obviously, but this is probably going to be a thing where she's picked up a flash bubble already, and so this is letting everyone know, I'm guessing the enemy team can see it, but at least their allies, that she has another flash. So she can use that, she jumps forward, she then does an auto with a passive, and flings her uh, sleep. It's going to hit somebody, so it's uh, hit Lissandra, so it's going to instantly proc the sleep. Drowsy, she can't use her claw because she's asleep. She flings her Q from backwards from down and then into her, which does even more range. And then some more passive shots, and she's a goner. Now, this one is really cool as well, because if you look, she's going to seek the Oriana, which means she can't really follow up. There's a cleanser as well, which means Zoe uh, can pick this up, I believe. She's going to pick it up in a second. There she goes, she picks it up. But that actual Q from pretty far away, from just behind her, pretty easy, honestly. That half health, the uh, Lee Sin, and look here again. <laughs> that is literally just a Q and an auto attack from her passive, and she's going to demolish. Uh, so looking at tips and tricks as well, this one I've already talked about because it's uh, basically how the old Nilly Spear works. If you're really far away, it does more damage. And you actually have over 40 spells and active items that can drop as a result of her W, which is pretty ridiculous, honestly. Her portal jump is really going to unlock the rest of her kit, though, and I think that's really cool. This tweet is honestly the reason I made this video, because it actually changes the entire thing about Zoe. She's going to have uh, a 6-second or a 4-second ultimate uh, rank, uh, rank 3. 
level 16 which is absolutely crazy and i think that's going to actually unlock the rest of her kit so i'll put both of these in the description go and have a look yourself let me know what you think now we know her proper kit and everything uh, like that but yeah thank you guys for watching the video and i'll catch you tomorrow